Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I have another blood sugar experiment coming at you. I'm gonna be using my Freestyle Libre 2 Continuous Glucose Monitor to test the effects of exercise on my blood sugar. And I'm gonna be comparing two types of exercise, walking and high intensity interval training to see which is better. Now, I personally love HIIT because when I am working out, like I wanna be sweating, I wanna be crying. Well, maybe not crying, but I really wanna push my body and feel that burn. Recently, I've been reading that brisk walking could be just as effective in lowering blood sugar and preventing type two diabetes. So I'm gonna test out that theory. Let's see which has a better impact on my blood sugar. All right, let's go. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and eat a meal first. And then after I eat, I'm gonna wait about 15 minutes so that I don't throw up. And then I'm gonna go do the first form of exercise. Let me show you guys really quick what it is that I'm eating. So two eggs and half an avocado is pretty standard breakfast for me. Um, I usually add maybe buttered sourdough, but I ran out. So I'm gonna try these little mini pancake puffs. Four of these has about 18 grams of carbs. So I thought it might be interesting to see, you know, with a little bit of sugar, what my blood sugar is gonna do with the exercise. All right, so I will see you guys after I finish this. I am outside getting ready to do my workout. I'm gonna be doing a 20 minute HIIT workout following Natasha Ocean, I think is how you pronounce it, off of YouTube. And if you guys follow her, you know that her workouts are very, very intense. So I'm a little bit scared because I haven't worked out in a while. So let's see what this does to my blood sugar. Let me really quick before I start, check my blood sugar to see where I am at. So it looks like I am at 96. I can definitely feel my pulse going from those pancake puffs. Let's see if the 20 minute hit workout can cancel out any blood sugar spike. Okay, so right now it only went up five points and I'm gonna check back in in 15 minute intervals. 15 minutes has gone by, so I'm ready to test my blood sugar again. My legs feel like jello. They literally feel like jello. I'm having trouble walking. Man, I'm tired. All right, let's see where my blood sugar is at. It dropped 15 points in 15 minutes. 15 points in 15 minutes. Well, I'm excited to see where the number's gonna go in another 15 minutes. Another 15 minutes has gone by, so let's take a look. P.S. My legs still feel like jello. Okay, so it just came back up 10 points. Um, I think I'm gonna just scan again in another 30 minutes to see what happens then. So far, nothing crazy is happening with my blood sugar. I expected there to be a really sharp increase in my blood glucose because typically when you stress your body out with more high intensity workouts, that's what's supposed to happen. Like your body just releases a bunch of glucose in order to get you through your workout. But so far, it hasn't been the case for me, but we'll check back in 30 minutes and see what happens. Check my blood sugar again at the one hour mark and it was back down to 85. I mean, I'm not seeing a lot of variation in my blood sugar. So, so far this has been uneventful to say the least. I just checked my blood sugar again, an hour and a half after I finished my workout and it's holding steady. It's still at 85, no significant changes whatsoever. All right, so it's day two. I ate my two eggs and a half avocado and four pancake puffs and now I'm gonna go for my walk. I have my old lady hat on and I checked my blood sugar, it is at 94. So I'm gonna do the quick 20 minute walk and I happen to choose literally the hottest day. There is a heat wave here where I live, so good for me and I'm going to see what my blood sugar does. All right, I'll check back in. I'm eight minutes into my walk and it is so stinking hot and my legs are still so sore from that HIIT workout yesterday. Whew, this is, this is good. This is keeping me healthy. finished my walk and I checked my blood sugar and it's up at 107 so it's actually higher up than it was yesterday after my HIIT workout. I'm gonna keep checking in and see what happens to my blood sugar from here on out. 
I have my laptop here, so I'm gonna be sharing with you the glucose readings that I had after my 20 minute brisk walk. So right before the walk, I was at 94. This was after my meal. Then right after the walk, I was up to 107. Then 15 minutes after that, it went down to 94. 30 minutes after the workout, it went back up to 105. 45 minutes after the workout, it dropped all the way down to 84. An hour after the workout, it pretty much stayed the same at 86. Then an hour and a half after the workout, 88. And then two hours after the workout, 93. So near the end there, my blood sugar started to kind of slowly, slowly creep back up. All right, so let's go over what our findings are. Finding number one. So looking at the graph here, to me, it looks like the HIIT workout did do a little bit of a better job in keeping my blood sugar lower throughout and then keeping it lower for a sustained period of time. The differences aren't drastic by any means, but you can see that at the last hour with the HIIT workout, my blood sugar pretty much stayed stable at 85 throughout, whereas with the walking, it started to creep back up a little bit. Finding number two. So even though my blood sugar looked lower overall with the HIIT workout, interestingly enough, I had the biggest drop in blood sugar with the walking. So from the 30 minute mark to the 45 minute mark after the workout, my blood sugar dropped a total of 21 points, whereas with the HIIT workout, it dropped 16 points from right after the workout to 15 minutes post. But also keep in mind that this was brisk walking. So my heart rate was averaging 118 beats per minute through the entire 20 minutes. Finding number three, in both cases, I had these two little humps in my blood sugar. So my blood sugar went up initially when I started working out and then immediately dropped following the workout. Then it went back up again and then down again. And my guess is that one of two things was happening during that second hump. Either those pancake puffs were digesting more and breaking down more, therefore releasing more glucose into my bloodstream, which is where my blood sugar started going up, or it could have been that my body was releasing stored glucose in order to replenish my body's energy after the workout. So what's the verdict? What is better for your blood sugar? A HIIT workout or brisk walking? My conclusion is that there isn't a big enough difference, at least based on this experiment, to say that one is definitely better than the other. It really comes down to what you can fit into your lifestyle and that's convenient for you. Really, that's the exercise that you should choose. As a busy mom of two, you know, sometimes I just can't set aside even 20 minutes to focus on my HIIT workout without hearing mommy, mommy, mommy and being interrupted all of the time. But what can I do? You know, if I suggest going for a Saturday morning walk or a hike, will my kids say yes? Definitely. So in that given moment, that's the workout that I will do. So I'm definitely gonna do this experiment again in the future and maybe with something higher carb like a dessert and see if that changes the results at all to push my body's you know, insulin response and blood sugar response a little bit more. And if you haven't watched my other blood sugar experiment where I tested some hacks such as apple cider vinegar, go ahead and watch that because the results might really surprise you. If you like this video, please go ahead and press the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. That would really, really help me out. And that way you don't miss upcoming blood sugar experiment videos. Please leave down in the comments below what other blood sugar experiments you would like to see. As always, thank you so much for joining me today and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.